वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ क्रिकेट थ्रिल्स राम नरेश सरवान इज अ क्रिकेटर ऑफ इंडो गानीज ओरिजन हु प्लेड एज ए बैट्समैन ही इज अ फॉर्मर मेंबर एंड फॉर्मर कैप्टन ऑफ द वेस्ट इंडीज क्रिकेट टीम इन ऑल फॉर्मेट्स सरवान वेंट ऑन टू एवरेज ओवर 40 इन बोथ द टेस्ट एंड वन डे इंटरनेशनल फॉर्म्स ऑफ क्रिकेट ही वाज नेम्ड एज द कैप्टन ऑफ द गियाना एमेजन वॉरियर फॉर द 2013 इनेग्रल टूर्नामेंट ऑफ द कैरेबियन प्रीमियर लीग सरवान आल्सो प्लेड फॉर गियाना ग्लोस्टरशायर किंग एक्स पंजाब एंड लेस्टरशायर इन हिज क्रिकेटिंग कैरियर सरवान नेम इज अ कॉमन हिंदू नेम शेयर्ड बाय मेनी ऑफ हिज कंट्रीमैन हु हैव रूट्स इन india he shared the habit of his fellow countryman shivnarayan chandrapal of making his cart with the bail let's watch an inning of 17 years old ramna resh sarwan batting against leeward island in 1997 98 season that's a vital blow against the guyana and for the leeward islands so that's 112 for 5 hooper goals run out for 28 50 deliveries. Ramnaresh Sawan now comes in and here is that run out once more. Ampar Nichols in the perfect position. Got to turn and come back. And once more Hooper gives himself a little extra So the end of the over and at the end of the over 112 for 5 the Guyana score you're watching live coverage of the Red Stripe Bowl, Bowl final from Kaiser in Jamaica Loss of Hooper and very good work again by the leaders in the field led by their captain Stuart Williams who continues to be a very good fielder taking one to good catches as well too So this is the first match for Sawan to place in the pass for Kevin Darlington Who didn't bowl badly at all in the competition But can I look into strength in their batting saw one gets off the mark 17 year old player who's got so much ability and will be off to South Africa with the West Indies A team and also with the on the 19 team <laughs> Seems as if the Guyanese selectors had some premonition as to what would happen here. Andrew White have decided to strengthen the batting. They certainly need it now. They do. The thing about Guyana here is that they're losing wickets and the run rate is increasing all the time. So that's double trouble. when they do come are coming in singles not quite what Guyana need they need a few boundaries the Wood Islands I would think would consider themselves really in the driver's seat now well on top in this game Quinn to continue the attack he's bowling to Percival if you leave early in the morning like Michael Holden did you could do it in just over an hour and a half without any traffic on the road careful how you say things like that and <laughs> might be some speed cops waiting on us on the way back <laughs> indeed and this uh, is televised live in Jamaica as well So King who started the attack uh, picked up two for 22. Nagamoto uh, he got three. 
I thought uh, Semple bowled pretty well. Quinn in the heat of the battle has done pretty well here actually in fact um, this is the best time he's bowled in the competition five four thirty so with the departure of Chandapal followed by Hooper Still only getting singles, Diana. And these are the important dismissals that we were discussing earlier on. The first one, that of Shivnara and Chandra Paul getting a leading edge to Kenny Benjamin and Keith Hasselton taking a very simple catch. And then this big mistake. Andre Percival, the man calling, Carl Hooper went too far. Just couldn't make it back. Percival, who's having difficulty in finding the gaps. Now goes on to 12, but he's faced some 49 balls now. Two very inexperienced batsmen out there. For Guyana, of course, Sao and the man on strike, just 17 years old. And that's a pleasant stroke by Sao Wan. Reaching for it and driving sweetly down towards long off. He's an attractive player and uh, highly thought of. Like most youngsters coming through the the 15 competition and playing in the Nortel competition and he certainly caught the eye so not the intrigue and the excitement that you would be expecting in the final at around 4.13 local time. In fact, it's a matter of Ghana trying to stem the tide here. They are in big trouble. Well, the steal the leg by every run is important, but I'm sure that the doctor would also be ordering a couple of fours as well. continues to be very tight at the end of over number 33 Diana struggling 119 for five <laughs> the scoring rate has gone to seven 
up to 7.4 now, so it's climbing all the time. And with just the all-rounders to come, McGraw can certainly give it a hit, but... Uh, Ron Naresh Sarwan made his test debut against Pakistan at Barbados in May 2000, a match in which he was unbeaten in both innings including a first inning score of 84 not out. He missed scoring his median test century against South Africa in March 2001 when he was run out for 91. His score of 78 in the second test against India at Chennai in October 2002 was his fourth inning of 75 plus that was not converted into a century. His median test century came Came in his next test series against Bangladesh at Dhaka. In 2004, the West Indies went on to win the final of the ICC Champions Trophy against England, with Sarwan being named as the player of the tournament. On 23rd May 2006, Sarwan scored 115 not out against India in his 101 day international match. On 23rd June 2006, on his 26th birthday, while playing against India, Sarwan hit six fours in an over of Manav Patel. In so doing, he equaled the record of Sandeep Patel with 6 4 hit of Bob Willis from 7 deliveries, Sanat Surya with 6 4 hits of James Anderson in 6 balls, and Chris Kale with 6 4 hit of Matthew Hoggart from 6 deliveries. Sarwan was dropped from the side from the second test against Pakistan in November 2006. It was the first time in his 6 years career that he had missed a game due to poor form. According to Captain Brian Lara, it wasn't designed as a drop. We just wanted to make him aware of the situation and come back stronger. We need him and we need him to take control. On April 29, 2007, it was announced that Sarwan was to succeed the retiring Brian Lara as captain of the West Indies, following the side exit from the 2007 World Cup. During the second test in the West Indies Tour of England in May 2007, Sarwan injured his shoulder when he collided with the boundary fence. While attempting to cut off a boundary, the injury was serious enough to rule him out of the remainder of the tour and for the further 10 months. He announced his retirement from international cricket in September 2016. He played his last international match as an ODI against India at the Oval on June 11, 2013. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.